What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Nobles TX YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Guys, if y'all are uh, not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If y'all like what y'all see today, hit that like button. So, what we're going to talk about is the Altama OTB Maritime Assault Boots. As y'all know, I'm sure uh, if you're here, you've probably seen our kind of introductory video or uh, the introduction to these boots where we unboxed them, took a first look, they were looking really good. And uh, you see here, this is the result of our 50 mile outdoor review. Well, it was supposed to be 50 miles. Uh, these boots were actually uh, so comfy, I just kept on wearing them and we actually ended up hitting over 100 miles in these boots. Now I work outdoors and I'm in all kinds of terrain. I'm hardly ever on a nice piece of pavement. I'm hardly ever doing anything and anything that is soft, grass, nothing like that. So these boots have really been put through their paces. I've been wearing them just about every day, every day I go out at least, um, to work or out in the field. And they've been absolutely great. After about two weeks of wearing them, I think I'd hit just about 50 miles in them. I went ahead and tried to put some new inserts inside, see if uh, maybe softer inserts would make it any better. And uh, these boots, I gotta say, I pulled those inserts out within a, a warm for about a day. I pulled the inserts that I'd put in there out and I put the originals back in and rocked the originals. Um, the original insoles in these boots are actually pretty comfortable. Now what I call comfortable versus what you may call comfortable is probably two very different things. I do a lot of walking, a lot. I'm on my feet hours a day um, and I would like to think that my feet are probably more accustomed to most people's feet walking and being in weird conditions on weird surfaces. I know if my daughter walks around for longer than three hours she's complaining her feet feet hurt which is kind of hilarious to me but <laughs> to each their own so we can talk about what kind of conditions I put these boots through uh, like I said I work outdoors and most of the time these boots were in rough rocky terrain um, very abrasive terrain and you can see where I kind of started to get a little thread thread coming up around here. I'm actually surprised they did this well. Uh, I went hunting a couple, kind of right before Thanksgiving, and as I was walking through pastures and fields, I was going through a lot of uh, pricker bushes and thorns, and these boots were, I was basically just trucking them right through that stuff. And so, you can see the Cordero held up great. We have a little bit of thread separation here on the side. I'm sure if you took a lighter to that, that would clean that right up. You can see our eyelets here are losing uh, some of their paint. But all in all, get my, don't mind that hair, this dog hair here. These boots actually got kind of a little cleaning today because I was doing some walking around in the grass, uh, just doing some yard work and uh, it was early in the morning and the dew was still out, so they got a little cleaning today. They were looking a whole lot worse just a few hours ago. I pulled them off for this video. I've got to say, I'm actually very surprised. I saw a lot of hype on the internet. I thought that these were just going to be uh, some better looking chucks, but uh, it turns out that these things are absolutely awesome. I mean, I'm. After just a few weeks of wearing them, I mean, I, probably three weeks or so, I saw that Altama was coming out with another another shoe. They're coming out with the M81 uh, Woodland Camo, and I went ahead and jumped on that. Uh, I think those look awesome. So I will be adding a second pair to the collection. Now let's talk about uh, what I like and what I don't like. I love the rear loop. Um, this helps me get the boot on no matter what style of sock I'm wearing or what material the sock is made out of and uh, 
sometimes when I'm just running around, I'll have them a little looser where I'll almost be able to just jam my foot right into that sucker if I don't really need to tighten it up and get the tension. But something we'll take a look at are, I mean, where these boots really took a beating is in the soles. Let's go ahead and flip them over, take a look. So you can see here, our soles absolutely took a beating. Now, what I notice is since I don't do a lot of pavement walking, I don't really have a whole lot of uh, sole rubbing off. But what I have noticed is a bunch of chipping from the tread, which is not a big deal. You can see where I put most of my weight and where I pivot on different terrain. That's where it's taking its most or it's uh that's where it's really taking a beating you can see we have some missing tread up front too let's take a look at our other one real quick pull this boot up here and yeah same thing um it's kind of hard to see in this lighting but we're having uh quite a bit of tread coming off from the bottom but that's kind of to be expected these boots are very um, grippy very sticky you, I mean you can see I have a, a cut going through here I'm walking on some sharp steel I mean anything and everything that you would not want to walk on these poor boots have walked on and I did not take it easy on them at all I mean if I saw an obstacle instead of going around it we were going over it all in all, what I gotta say is, uh, if you were thinking about picking up a pair of these Altama OTB Maritime Assault boots, I uh, I wouldn't hesitate to do so. Like I said, these soles, uh, for being as grippy as they are, they did a great job with the abuse. Like I said, this is over 100 miles of strictly outdoor use. Uh, they do not see a whole lot of walking in a parking lot or strolling through a mall. We can see our laces took a little beating and that again is going to be from those pricker bushes and thorn bushes that I was walking through and when a boot would get stuck I'd just keep on pulling, keep on tugging and the boot would keep on coming with me. So I'm very impressed on that. I mean all in all there's not much to complain about. Um, I'm willing to trade the softer sole for more grip. Um, one day it started raining, so I went ahead and took these boots off and replaced them with your traditional work style boots. Stepped on a piece of wet metal and almost uh, almost ate my stuff, you know what I mean? I me As soon as I stepped on something wet with a, a typical pair of work boots, I missed these almost immediately. But yeah, not a whole lot to say. They kind of look like Chucks. They are a little thicker, which is good because Chucks look like clown shoes on me. Um, what I did was I went with a, let's see what the size is. I went with a 10. So my tennis shoes, I typically wear about a nine and a half, but most of my boots I wear about a nine and a half or a 10. And, uh, I heard we'd go up about one size in these boots, but now that Altama offers them in half sizes, I went ahead and got a half size up and they fit great. If you want to, we can go ahead and take a look at our insole and show you what that looks like. And here's our insole. You can see uh, that's actually it's actually sweat from where I was wearing them earlier is still wet <laughs> I mean I was wearing these and working earlier but these are actually not bad it's it's different it's weird because they're like a solid rubber but they, they kind of have a little give to them and uh, once you get used to them I mean they're pretty good the one thing I did notice is that there was not a whole lot of 
uh, shock resistance, I would say. So if I was jumping off of something and landing on a flat surface, uh, for the first few days I could feel that, like that shock, that impulse through my leg, or through my feet, and I didn't like it. It took me a little bit of getting used to, because I was used to something with a little give, a little, uh, a little cushion, and uh, I should say, like, the ability to bounce back, whereas these are just kind of your basic flat insoles. Now, the reason I think that I liked these insoles so much for this boot is because it does have, have a rather soft sole. So considering I'm walking on such bad terrain, the double up on rubber under my foot uh, is what I preferred. Well, like I said, we were originally going to do just a 50 mile uh, boot review. I figured 50 miles would be pretty easy. We could do that in about a month. Um, I did not realize I'd be doing so much walking over the last month. And uh, we started this on November 1st. We started this 50 mile boot review. And it kind of got a little carried away. I just kept on wearing them. Uh, I really didn't have time to stop and um, do a video. So I didn't have any complaints about them. So I figured I'd just keep rocking them until, uh, until I got a chance to do a video on them. And so I went back and about every two weeks I was recording our miles walked. So up here we have November 1st through the 15th down here, uh, or excuse me, to the 14th. Down here we have the 15th through the 27th. We had some errors with uh, tracking our steps and our miles here. And I mean, it, it goes on to this page. And let me flip the page real quick. And so, at the end of our three separate times that I, uh, that I calculated all the steps, including just subtracting uh, the error, after all the calculations, we came out to 100 miles, 100.53 miles. Not too bad. And like I said, that is with completely removing any of the error uh, that was not recorded. So I'm pretty impressed with that. You can see even here I'd taken out some some uh, recordings just because we had errors there. And on some days where I was off or where it rained, I removed those uh, because I didn't wear these in the rain. But all in all, I'm rather impressed. So. Now, instead of doing just our 50 mile review, we are left with our Altama 100 mile outdoor abuse and review. I'm impressed guys. Something that I don't want to forget to talk about that I noticed after about three weeks is our glue started coming undone. Not a big deal because it's all stitched. Um, I mean, honestly, if these boots were going to fall apart, I feel like they would have already. So I'm pretty impressed. Let's check our other one, see how it's doing. Yeah, you can see it's trying to come apart, but that stitching has got it held in place. So somewhere like here, I could probably take a lighter to that, clean it up. On this side, same thing. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Well, I hope y'all uh, are enjoying this kind of video. Something I wanted to mention again before I let y'all go. You can see I, I tried to use different styles of tracking. We used a Apple Watch, we used an iPhone. All these things were only um, on whenever these boots were touching ground. So we tried our best to give you a fair judgment because like I said when I was online looking for uh, reviews on these boots a lot of them look brand new I mean most guys that were pulling them out on camera they look like they had you know been walking around a Starbucks for a few hours but that was about it so if you're thinking about getting a pair I'd jump on it if you like the uh, the M81 Woodland camo those are available right now, so I would think about getting some of those. I think it's going to be a uh, U.S. made limited edition boot, so that's going to be pretty cool. But anyways, 
if I'm forgetting anything and you have any questions, y'all ask me in the comments. I try to answer every question. But uh, all in all, I appreciate y'all stopping by today. If y'all like what y'all saw, hit that like button. If y'all want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.